There are several types of voltage based on terms used in the industry. We have terminal voltage, nominal voltage, operating voltage, maximum and minimum voltage, open circuit voltage and short circuit voltage, root mean square, RMS voltage, peak voltage, phase voltage. These are some of the common types and their uses depend on the context and application. We have terminal voltage from the word terminal meaning a point of connection for closing an electrical circuit. There are two main terminals in this battery, positive and negative, those splitted into two on each side for split connections. Terminal voltage, also known as terminal potential difference, is the voltage measured across the terminals of a device such as a battery generator, a power supply and uh, electrical outlets. It is the voltage available at the output of a device and it is the voltage that is applied to the load. Here is a multimeter. The dial is set to DC voltage. We are measuring the terminal voltage of this battery. That's the connector and when properly connected to the multimeter, it measures the terminal voltage of the battery. Recall that terminal voltage is the voltage available at the output of a device and that which will be applied to the load. This is a 19.5 volt AC adapter, meaning 19.5 volt is the terminal voltage that will be applied to the load. And when measured with a multimeter, here is what we got, 19.72 volt. It drops further to 19.5 volt when connected to a load. Terminal voltage determines the amount of electric current that will flow through a circuit. Voltage drives current. Therefore, low and high voltage will significantly affect the amount of current passing through a circuit. Note that terminal voltage can vary depending on the load connected to the device and it may not always be the same as the nominal or rated voltage of the device. We have nominal voltage. This voltage is the nameplate voltage of the device or system. Here is a lithium battery with a nominal voltage of 3.7 volts boldly printed on it. Here is another case example where the nominal voltage is 3.82 volts. Nominal voltage is the voltage that the manufacturer assigns to it and it's usually the voltage that the device is designed to work best at. It is the average voltage a cell outputs when charged. It is the voltage that the device is meant to run at and the voltage is usually printed on the device label or specifications. This simply means nominal voltage is a standard voltage rating given to a battery or other electrical components. Take a look at the graph here representing the state of a charged lithium battery. The nominal voltage at 3.7 volts and fully charged voltage at 4 volts depending on the type of battery. These ratings are very important because they help us match equipment and devices to prevent damage. For example, one can match up a battery of 12 nominal voltage to a 12 volt inverter and can use same to power up a 12 volt DC fan. A nominal voltage of a PV can be 12 volts, but the actual operating voltage can be 17 volts. However, this is within the range rated at 12 volts. Understanding nominal voltage is important because it helps you know what voltage to use when connecting the device to a power source and it helps you avoid damaging the device by using too high or too low a voltage. A good knowledge of nominal voltage system is needed in the battery storage industry. It is important in series configuration of batteries it determines the number of batteries required and BMS battery management system uses nominal voltage system to ensure safe operation 
in battery packs. Up next, maximum and minimum voltage. Maximum voltage is the highest voltage a device can handle without getting damaged. Well, minimum voltage is the lowest voltage a device needs to work properly. If it's lower, the device won't work. That is to say, exceeding the maximum voltage can cause a device to burst into flames or even explode. Some devices have built-in protection to prevent damage from high voltage but it's not always foolproof. If the voltage is too low, a device may not work at all or it may work erratically or inefficiently. Some devices may be damaged or worn out faster if operated at voltages consistently below the recommended minimum. Now, if the voltage is too low, it is called under voltage. The device may not function properly or may not function at all. If the device is too high, it is called over voltage. The device may overheat, be damaged or even catch fire. Here is a DC 5 volt bulb. Introducing a voltage above the operating voltage range of this device will damage the device. And introducing a under voltage will not make this device to properly function. Up next, short circuit voltage and open circuit voltage. Short circuit voltage is a voltage measured when a device is accidentally connected directly without a load causing a huge surge of current while open circuit voltage is voltage measured when a circuit is not connected to a load leaving it open and not functioning note that it is open because it is not connected and it's closed because it is connected it is shorted because it is directly connected without a load this simulation will further explain this this circuit consists of a 5 volt power source a key usually known as switch and represented here as sw1 a noise indicator and a resistor of 1 kilo ohm when the switch is open we have an open circuit and when it's closed we have a closed circuit Current is flowing through the circuits. Now let's highlight the power source 5 volts coming up now. You can see is a the line is directly to the horizontal that's straight because it's from a DC source. Now let's highlight the noise indicator. Okay, you can see the DC source is not noise free. Only an ideal voltage is noise and ripple free. And that's the resistance highlighted. Watch closely what happens when we shut this circuit by simply creating a bridge between the two opposite lines. Okay, zooming in, that's the bridge we are creating and immediately the circuit is shorted. Note that the voltage in a short circuit is always zero, leading to a drop in resistance and an increment in the amount of current passed. Check this PV level out. The open circuit voltage is the highest because it is not yet connected to a load. Once connected to a load, the value of the voltage drops. This knowledge is important in the industry.